that is uh, one of the very significant pluses of it. Um, another uh, question that arises, I suppose, is being a synthetic surface, uh, the uh, the safety element of it uh, with uh, with children running and uh, maybe falling over on it, uh, a bit softer than the harder to, that, than the pure hard ground. Uh, definitely, yeah, the infield has uh, a fill of um, sand and rubber granules, so it's uh, certainly a lot uh, less impact than on a, a grassed area and uh, soil and the um, outfield is also filled with uh, sand. There's uh, 63 tonnes of fill in that comes into the, the 3,000 uh, square metres. So you're setting a standard for uh, primary schools here in Geelong and no doubt uh, you might have them lining up outside the door wanting to know how can we do it? Uh, yes and uh, we certainly um, can envisage parents lining up and uh, uh, wanting to see the area and uh, potentially enrol. Um, we have uh, certainly a lot of interest. We have uh, a number of principals visiting our school uh, next uh, in the next month and um, they'll be certainly interested in having a look at, at uh, the, the project. A school with a very proud history, opened in 1878, celebrated your uh, centenary in 1978 and now making uh, significant uh, steps forward proactively in uh, 2008. Yes, 2008, uh, the last five years has uh, seen a lot of progress and development uh, within the school with uh, master plans, multi-purpose room development, refurbishment, uh, the computer developments and so forth, So, and, th and this is another project. And the, the school community have funded uh, a lot of those projects. Now, being uh, an outdoor activity, of course, uh, it will be uh, open to the weather elements. Uh, how, uh, how is it going to uh, particularly handle the, uh, the, uh, both elements, the, uh, the rain and the sunshine? Uh, no problems uh, with either, with the, the drainage pattern that's been set up. There's spoon drains to uh, gather the uh, water. Um, uh, examples that we've seen of this product, uh, it's been heavy rain and within half an hour the um, surface is playable again. And uh, in the sunshine of course it uh, becomes uh, very nice and, uh, and buoyant and, uh, and light footed? Uh, yes and also uh, you know, in um, hot weather we uh, look at more passive act uh, activities and there's certainly shade um, uh, which covers uh, some areas so we've got uh, passive areas for uh, quiet activities. Um, and it shouldn't, uh, shouldn't be a problem. Now I understand one of the features uh, involved here is uh, that there is a, a water bladder associated with, uh, with the, uh, the building of this uh, outdoor activity. How big is it? Uh, we're looking at um, placing 40,000 litres uh, uh, under uh, one of the buildings in conjunction with the federal government grant of um, uh, green vouchers, which has been made available through the federal government so some $50,000 and we're looking at incorporating that in with um, our water saving projects within the school. So there is uh, very environmentally friendly uh, elements associated with it as well as the uh, aesthetics and uh, of course the enjoyment element. Yes, we have uh, an environment committee uh, and we have a facility uh, through the student body and we also have the facilities committee within the school council and um, that's an ongoing uh, process of maintaining the facilities and the environment uh, for a safe and um, healthy uh, work area and um, educational area for the within the school. One dare ask, uh, what's next on the agenda as far as uh, the uh, future planning is, uh, is concerned, as far as your strategies are concerned? Um, well, the, the, uh, the water catchment's our, our next major one. That's the, the one we'll tackle next uh, when the oval's complete, which hopefully by the end of next week. We'll be out there and uh, this time next week. Uh, we should be on the on the surface. And uh, having a special opening? Uh, yes, uh, our phys ed department, led by uh, Monica Whelan, is organising a um, mini athletics, uh, mini Olympics day in conjunction with the uh, Beijing Olympics, and we'll be uh, incorporating uh, an opening ceremony uh, of the um, new playing surface. Mini Olympics, Chilwell Primary School here in Packing the Street, in our great city of Geelong. Dale, congratulations to you your school community and your staff for uh, such a, uh, a very innovative move as far as uh, the outdoor activities for uh, our young up and coming primary school students and future uh, generations of years to come. Well done. Thank you very much. We'll go to a break on Geelong Newsbeat here from Chewell Primary School in Packington Street in our great city of Geelong. <laughs> 